Welcome to a lesson in which we'll solve two application problems using an inequality in one variable. In our first example, the cost of tuition is $76 per credit hour. We want to write an inequality that can be used to determine the number of credit hours a student can take for under $1,000. We want to solve the inequality and write the answer in a sentence. So we're given that the tuition is $76 per credit hour and our goal is to determine the number of credit hours a student can take for under $1,000. So notice how the unknown is the number of credit hours. So let's let C be equal to the number of credit hours. And we want the cost to be under $1,000, which means you want the cost to be less than $1,000. Again, because it says under, this gives us the inequality symbol less than. And again, the cost is based upon the number of credit hours, and because it costs $76 per credit hour, our inequality would be 76 times C, the number of credit hours, must be less than 1,000. And now we'll solve this inequality by dividing both sides by 76. Simplifying on the left, we have one C or just C must be less than this quotient here. 1,000 divided by 76 is equal to this value here, which we'll have to round. Let's round this to approximately 13.158. which means if a student takes less than 13.158 credit hours, the cost will be less than or under $1,000. But the problem is the number of credit hours must be a whole number, meaning a student can take 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on credit hours, but they can't take a fraction of a credit hour. So the largest whole number that still satisfies this inequality would be 13 which means a student can take a maximum of 13 credit hours for under $1,000. Let's put this in a sentence. A student can take a maximum of 13 credit hours for under $1,000. Now let's look at our second example. Sean owns a business that builds computers. The fixed operating costs for his business are $2,700 per week. In addition to fixed operating costs, each computer costs $600 to produce. Each computer sells for $1,500. Write an inequality that can be used to determine the number of computers Sean needs to sell in order to make a profit each week. Solve the inequality, write the answer in a sentence. There's a lot of given information here. First, the fixed operating costs for his business are $2,700 per week. Each computer costs $600, and each computer sells for $1,500. And our goal here is to determine the number of computers Sean needs to sell in order to make a profit each week. So because we're trying to determine the number of computers, let's let C be equal to the number of computers. And now Sean wants to make a profit. If Sean wants to make a profit, that means that the money coming in must be more than the money going out, which means the revenue must be greater than the total costs. Well, the revenue comes from selling the computers which computer sells for $1,500. So the total revenue from selling C computers would be 1,500 times C. This quantity must be greater than the total cost, which are the fixed operating costs plus the cost of building each computer. So the total cost would be the fixed cost of 2,700 plus the cost of building each computer which would be $600 times C or 600C. Now we want to solve this inequality for C. Notice how we have C terms on both sides. So for the next step, let's subtract 600C on both sides. Simplifying, we have 1,500C minus 600C, that's 900C, is greater than 2,700. And of course, this difference here is zero. So now to solve for C, we divide both sides by 900. 
Simplifying on the left, we have one times C or C must be greater than 2,700 divided by 900 is equal to three. So C, the number of computers sold to make a profit, must be greater than three. So in a sentence, we'll say Sean needs to sell, let's say, more than three computers. Notice three does not satisfy this inequality. Three is not greater than three. So in order to make a profit, he must sell more than three computers, again, to make a profit each week. In this problem as well, notice how C must be a whole number. We can't sell a half or a fraction of a computer. So notice how the first whole number that would satisfy this inequality would be four. So we could also say that Sean needs to sell four or more computers to make a profit each week. So there's more than one way to write the answer as a complete sentence. Again, we could say more than three computers or four or more computers. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.